To adjust the shield on an Arai X-Series helmet, begin by opening the shield and removing the holders, or side pods, on the side here. You can press the little black switch, holder pops right off, and then the shield is ready to be removed, but in this case, we actually want the shield attached. So we're going to open the shield, and that's going to click it back into its track, so that way the shield is still connected to the base plate. Loosen the screws, these two here, holding each base plate, but don't remove them. So let's loosen. Good. You can see, now it's loose, so now it can move freely. When it's loose like this, we can adjust where the base plate is, and what we're changing is how the shield actually closes and how the shield fits against the rubber eye port gasket. Just make sure to push the base plate back up. See it move there so that it's nice and tight against the shield and that makes sure that the holder uh, when it does close is kind of lined up properly and the graphic lines up. And you can actually move the base plate to make sure that the graphic lines up appropriately to make sure it looks nice. With the base plates loose, and as you see, it'll move around. We can adjust freely. Use firm and gentle pressure to seal the shield tightly against the rubber eye port gasket. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna line it up like this. We're gonna use one hand to apply pressure to the shield and maintain that pressure while we actually uh, screw the base plate back down. So let's go ahead and make sure that our brow vent ducts are lined up, make sure that our shield is latched, and good, make sure it's down all the way, make sure that you pull down on the shield so it's closed all the way. The rubber is of course a little bit tacky, so it's going to hang on to the shield, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grab it tightly, so we need to pull tightly make sure it's actually closed all the way. Get our screwdriver ready and push on the shield and while maintaining pressure tighten the screw and remembering our X pattern the next one will be the top screw and readjust make sure especially adding pressure along the rubber eye port gasket itself. Push down on that, maintain pressure, and tighten. Good. And check the brow vent, make sure that it actually lines up with the little brow vent duct. And of course this shield has the protective vinyl on it, but you can easily put a microfiber towel on the shield so that while you're adding pressure, while you're pushing on it, you're not just adding a bunch of fingerprints. Good. Make sure we're latched. Add pressure. I'm gonna make sure I don't put my shoulder in the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. Tighten the screws in an X pattern so that we get an even tightening of the shield onto the rubber eye port gasket. Now the fourth one. Tighten that down. Once, there we go. Once all four screws are tightened, you can open the shield and then reattach the VAS holder. Just attach the holder on the side. It goes top tab first, top tab hangs in the top, second tab pushes in to the slot. So we hang and push. Just a note. The holder will only reattach while the shield is open. If the shield is closed, the holder will not attach. The little hang tab cannot actually get into the space. So on the X-Series helmets with the VAS shield, holder open, top tab hangs, push the bottom, hang, push, closed, and that's all we need.